Hello everyone, it's Katherine Kay with Gay K Treasure Store from eBay. And guess what time it is? It's finished jewelry time. Um, first, let me say welcome. If you're new to the channel, please uh, stick around, see what you like, see if you like me or not. If we're a good match, then please subscribe to the channel and um, hit the bell for future notifications. Um, secondly, I do want to say that I hope everyone is taking good care of themselves and their family and that everyone is healthy and happy um, dealing with all of this mess that we are all in together. Okay, now thirdly, I'm going to point up, see, see, see right See right there? Do you see that board sticking up there? Okay, that's hiding something. And I'm going to tell you what. Uh, the only hint I'm going to give you is three words. Red, white, blue. That's it. That's it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're just going to have to hang in there. All right. I am um, trying something new here. I've, I've had these bead boards and things for um, ever. And what the thing that I'm not going to tell you what is is on is a brand new um, item as well. And um, we're going to see how this works. But the first one, this one just would not stay on one of the things. So I'm having to sit here and hold it on this little one. For, and I figured I'd just show you a couple of them here that are smaller and that we don't have to do a whole lot of moving around on yet. And then we're going to start moving boards in front of you and we're going to see how this works out. If it doesn't work out, you'll never know because I'll never publish it. If it does work out, then um, bear with me. It's a new trial and error thing and we're going to see how it all, all does. Okay? Now... This first piece that I'm showing you here, as you see, has some blue. I mean, have, yeah, that's blue. We're, we're now going to call this blue, okay? <laughs> and no, I'm not going to start the video over because of the blooper. Whoops, okay. Has brown pieces, okay? Well, whenever I was sitting and I'm looking at all these brown little wheels, I'm going, okay, well, the best thing to show off brown is going to be gold. So I found these two little um, things, and I'm going, okay, but I need something in between to pull out some of the black that's in this uh, stone here. So I come up, and I'm, I'm doing some blue, sp um, yeah, there we go again. <laughs> black spacer beads, and, um, you know, and then, of course, I'm coming up, and out the, as you can see, it's, it's a three-stringer -string, here or strand, I guess, but then I alternated some crystal up in here, got the white, the gold, the gold, the gold, the gold, and then some gold and white up here in a different uh, way, and then I picked up on this second, on the first row down there by putting the last of the bead of the brown bead in, and then Keeping with the theme here with the black and the gold, I continued with the black and the gold, and then started with the uh, gold and um, crystal from there up to the point to where I started with the crystal and the um, gold beads up there, if you can see that. Now my third layer has no black in it, has no brown in it, nor does it have any blue in it. It's all um, gold and crystal, the white uh, crystal there. And I'm not really sure if you can get a good look, but you see how it does kind of have a, a good little shine to it there. And I thought that was kind of pretty. So I went with it. Now, I'm going to tell you a story about this necklace. I took it apart four different times. Every time I would do it, I would get to the point, and twice I had already put the, now I'm going to let this go. Here we go, because I want to show you. I got it on Coriana chain, and I wanted to connect it up here to this gold, and then to this gold, okay, to this. 
twice I had to to cut these off on the Coriana chain and redo the tops because of all things I forgot a black bead or I forgot I didn't have the same number of beads on one side as I did the other and since I'm not into that asymmetrical type deals I had to redo it so until I finally got it to where I wanted it but as you can see there a little bit better idea what all is in there okay all right now I'm gonna put this down and as you can see I've already shown you this okay I'm going to attempt if I can do this without knocking everything that is sitting around me down to pick up another piece to show you. Hang on. Don't go nowhere. I'm coming back. I really am. Sometime. If I don't drop this. Okay. Now, here we go. Okay. Coming right back. Here I am. Okay. Next piece. I had this piece of um, lamp work bead that I, I just truly loved it, okay? And I, I got to looking at it, and I kind of saw some silver and some different colors in there and some reds. And then I remembered these two um, beads that have both kind of a reddish tint to it as well as the silver. So I use this as a focal point, and then these two as, um, you know, to um, showcase, if you want to call it that. And then I put the red and the gray. This is um, the, uh, I'm going to remember the name of it. Hold on. It's supposed to be a, it's imitation, but gray pearl beads there. And these are the black iridescent I think is what they were called with a D um, on it so anyway so I did that and I'm just going to show you now all of these I'm not going to pull them all out down for you but I did do a black chain on it and I did a black lobster claw with a um, guard there but I kind of liked that one that one kind of okay that was okay for me. I liked that one. So we did that. Okay, here we go. Hang on. Maybe I can get this next one over there without knocking everything down. I'm not going to count on it, though. All right. Here we go. Now, here is where we're going to have to start doing a little bit of tilting and a little bit of moving. So yeah, take your nausea pills and your your um, equilibrium pills and, and get ready because here we start. Okay, here we go. We're going to move up just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit of luck. And just a little bit of luck. There we go. All right. Now, this one is actually made from our March bargain bead box goodies and it's got the uh, cherry quartz the uh, faceted rounds is in there somewhere right there the cherry faceted rounds and of course the uh, flowers the heart the um, hand carved shell flowers and the rhinestone separators or, or space beads okay now I put it on Rolo chain, and I'm going to pull it out so that you can see. I put it on the Rolo chain, and I did something I, I had seen somebody else do, so I borrowed it and put it on a triple ring um, guard back here because this one's made to kind of be short. I didn't want it to be um, too short for somebody that might need it to be a little bit longer, so I did that. All right, and so that was on the silver there, and then I just made these, as you can see, they are on the post, silver post that we got, and it's got um, the frosted, um, or rather the matte quartz and the flower, and then these are the colors that I had used 
to um, separate here and there, and so I put one of each of those in there, and I thought those were kind of cute. I liked those. So that was made from the March. Okay. All right, we're doing good so far. Hang on. Okay. Now, this next one is going to be on a bigger board. And this is going to be, we're part of our seasickness and everything's going to start in because I'm not going to take it completely off. As you can see, it is a, a um, dual strand, and I have the gold spacers or um, connectors there, as I did in the other one. And it's on a gold chain. I think that's, yeah. And then I made this bracelet that goes along with it. And let me release the camera here. Because I can kind of show you, we've got some of these um, filigree beads, some black beads, white beads. These are some of those, um, what are they called, gray granite beads. Okay, and it's together with one of my favorite um, clasp here as far as the toggles. I love that one, if you can get a good look at it there. Now... I'm going to attempt to bring this a little bit closer. Hang on, because I know I'm not going to bring it closer. I'm going to take you closer. Hang on. So that you can kind of get an idea there of some of the different things I used. Uh, there's a filigree. There is a, um, a gold. Um, there is a word for that one, and I cannot remember. Can you see me shaking? <laughs> All right, and then we've got those, the bold, and then we do have some bead caps in there. And then we got some of the bigger white and black beads down here, along with some more filigree. And I just, I thought all of that kind of came together really pretty, and so um, that's that one. Okay, hang on. All right, so far I'm, I'm okay. If none of this starts falling everywhere, we're, we're moving right along. Okay, this next one is also from the March box of the Bargain Bee box. Let's put it back here and let's come up. You know, I hate those felt things. They're pretty until you start putting stuff on them, and then they start, um, see, there, they, there they're pretty until you start showing close up, and even after you've, you've cleaned them, they, they, well, anyway, enough of that. Okay, so here we have that beautiful, beautiful pendant that came in there. Um, I just, uh, it's got the shell and the glass and the rhinestone. I mean, this focal is just beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. And then we've got some more of the um, faceted cherry quartz and some of the um, leaf beads that came with it. I think it was called a Crystal AB. And then I added just some um, small clear ones in between. And that's also done on Coriana Chain. And I did these earrings to go along with it. Just simple little dangles there with the leaf and another one of the um, things there. And I honestly have forgotten what we used on the back, so let's flip it. Oh, okay. It's a toggle. <laughs> I saw the toggle. You didn't. Okay. <laughs> no, it's just a... Um, one of the plain um, silver tone toggles. I'm trying to put the earring back up there where I won't lose it. Okay, but we'll try and do, even though I don't like the looks of it, we'll go in just a little bit more there so you can see how I put it all together. 
and that's that and there again it's just a silver tone clear um, toggle yeah all right now if the um, camera doesn't stop on me I'm gonna keep going here we go all right another white one here this one has some of the evergreen um, emerald green AB bicones and some of the uh, faceted black beads along with the blue green barrel faceted beads and it's just a simple necklace there we've got the earrings up at top there which you can see maybe <laughs> Oops, let's go up a little bit. There we go. And you can see how the light, when it hits it, it just, these blue-green barrel beads, they just shine. They, the light goes through them and around them and everywhere. So that's that one. Let's check it. Oh, see the blue? See how the, how the light's hitting it? And now you got the blue with the green. I just loved it. Okay, and... If we can do this do, 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 do. there we go we've got black chain with a guard and a lobster claw all right since I don't want the last you see of that to be a bit there we go all right okay um I think we'll do this one next that is if it doesn't fall over. Here we go. We got the next one. Now, this was kind of a cult of uh, uh, several different boxes ago. We had these, I think, um, and then we had some of the um, smaller beads that are in here, and I have forgotten what they're called. See, if I don't have them written down, I don't remember. Then we've got some of the red beads along with some black uh, hematite round barrel beads. I mean, round disc beads there. And it's all spaced. I mean, it's in different components. Louisa, I, I did. I did components. <laughs> I did components. Uh, for, between Gina and uh, Louisa, um... I want you both to know I did components. You got to be proud of me. I actually did some components and put them together. And this is not exactly hanging straight, but okay. Now we've got it all up there. And then we've got some flat gold, um, kind of a gold and cross between gold and brushed in there, I think, if you want to call it that. These are... Also on a toggle, this was that flower, uh, flower leaf toggle. And I'm sorry, maybe next time when I get used to this, I'll start taking them off so that you can see the backs. But right now, I'm just not wanting to try that. I want to get to the back board back there, and so I'm trying to get through these. But I also was experimenting with the... Um, with the earrings up there, and I think I came up with a an interesting design there. Okay. At least it was interesting to me. All right. Now I'm about to knock one off the table. Come back here. Don't go. Don't go. Please don't go. Okay. Here we go. Maybe. I think I'm about to lose one, though. Okay, this next one <laughs> is on. Here we go. <sighs> I made it. I didn't knock it off. I didn't knock the other one off. All right, this is the natural um, Persian dyed round jade pink. <laughs> 
with the hot pink rondelle crystals in there, some Dreamfire Dragon Vein that's in plum red. Uh, it's got some Tibetan, um, um, Tibetan, however that is said, silver uh, big caps. It's on Rolo chain, and it's also on a toggled, which maybe I'll get to it to let you see, but as you can see, and I made a bracelet for this one, and it's on memory wire. It's just a twofer here. Let me get up here where you can see it. Hey, whoops. Well, there's the problem. You couldn't see it. <laughs> All right, Catherine. All right, but it's also made with the various beads, uh, the crackle beads and the vein beads and the um, dragon vein stuff there, and I kind of liked that, and, and I was using the um, hot pink rondelle crystals here, so, yep, that's what that one did, and this one's not so hard to put back. I'll show you the chain on it. There we go, and so there's the toggle on the Rolo chain. A little bit better view here. And what started this one was this one little bead here. I, um, it was in a container all by its little lonesome and I decided it didn't need to be lonesome no more. So I pulled out all of these little beads and started figuring out something to put with it. And that's what I came up with. All right, here we go. And that lone little bead is no longer lonely. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm losing it. Okay, now, I've got to move out of the way because I've got to get to that last one before we get to the board behind it. All right. This one is a three strand as you can say it's kind of heavy um we've got our bigger beads on each side in green it's a dark dark green then you got some of the lighter green with the gold um spacer beads and um balls there uh got some of the light green in here and then i picked up on the gold everywhere and these other beads on my third strand there. Um, it's kind of, well, I'll be honest with you. In this one, I almost put this one completely by itself and then did these by them, you know, just a true strand. But I figured, no, I put it together as a three strand, so I'm going to leave it a three strand. Okay, now, this is also on one of my favorite gold toggles, but I used these connectors that I had. I don't know if you can really see them good there. Um, as just another little component looking, you know, to add to it. And I thought, you know, looked pretty good. We got some um, gold filigree in there as well. So it's a mixture of several different beads, uh, different sizes and colors of green and plays on gold, and that's what it is. Okay, now, that. Hang on, because I know I'm gonna knock it over if I don't move these others out of the way, so I'll be right with you. Don't go away for the suspense of the red, white, and blue, whoopee! All right, go there, and you go there. And you can go right here. That way you're all together and I'm not losing you. Okay. Now, explanation to you newbies here. When I first started doing beading, what actually got me started was, as I was I've told before, I was doing pre-owned jewelry. And I got to where I was all the time doing repairs on other jewelry and then showing it. 
okay? That got me interested in doing my own. Well, one of the things that even furthered that interest in starting doing my own jewelry was the fact that many years ago, I can remember seeing a necklace, a set that somebody else had that I just thought was absolutely gorgeous. Now, this was right before the 4th of July. It was in, I think, the June or um, copy of some kind of magazine or something. But I saw that and loved it. That has been my um, motivator. Finally, after all these months, I've got everything together that I wanted to get together. And I've got it looking like I want it. So, let's see what we have here. Da da What, you don't see it? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Red, white, and blue. And I'm going to take you in closer as soon as I move this out of the way. Basically, what this is is, of course, red, white, and blue, as you see there. It's on Coriana chain. We've got the stars up here. And we've got the silver bead caps and spacers throughout here. Now, it took some doing for me to get all of this together. It even took some doing for me to get it even on here. And it evidently is going to take some doing for me to get it to show right. But there it is. Now, I also made, let me get up here and get them, because I got them stashed on top here. I made this neck uh, bracelet to go along with it. And I'm going to pull you back just a minute so that I can show you. Okay, here we go. We've got this bracelet. It originally started out as a memory wire bracelet, and I didn't like it. So I took it off and I redid it, and now we've got a lobster claw with an extension chain and a star on the end of that one using the same, except of course the smaller beads, for the red, white, and blue. And um, so that was that. Okay, and then I made this pair of just simple hanging earrings as soon as I get them where I can show them that are also red, white, and blue imagine that on Coriana chain okay so once this is all together and worn together I think it's beautiful um Someone that I had talked about this with before previously said, well, what are you going to do with it when you make it? Are you going to wear it? No. I'm going to sell it. But the thing is, I did, I set out what I intended on doing. And that was completing my red, white, and blue necklace. And set. And I guess I can show you the back if I can get up here and get it off of this how do, how do you like my new um, stand here? Someday I'll show you. Well, I have shown you what Josie looked like. My jewelry mannequin. But now here's, here's uh, this one that I have gotten. Because so many things are longer and I can't get them to show the way I want them to. Okay. Now... I've got it on an S hook. It all comes together on this connector. And I've used a lot <laughs> of jump rings to make various links that any so that it can fit anybody that they want to have it. And so that's that's my red, white, and blue got it all together there's a better 
look at my little stars on top there. And there's my red, white, and blue. It's got both the bigger beads along with some of the smaller ones, and it took forever for me to make this thing. <laughs> And especially to get it to hang right and space right and do all of that, which it's not doing right now. But, hey, what can I say? Whoops. You know, it did what I did, what I wanted it to. So, all right. That's the extent of my um, finished jewelry for now. I've got some more pieces, but, of course, you know me, I... I got to wait until I get at least 10 together to do a show -ing of my um, pieces. And of course now it's not going to go up there and go on there straight. But anyway, um, thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, again, please consider um, subscribing. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications of uh, future videos. And um, if you have a um, YouTube channel of your own and you would like to put it down in the comments, please do so so that maybe we can visit you as well. Um, those of you that have been with me all this time, there it is. I told you I was going to make it, and I did. Okay, there were some that had their doubts. <laughs> but there it is, and I will um, see you all in another video. Have a blessed and healthy day, week, month, year, lifetime, and a long lifetime, I do pray. See you next video. Bye.